Ukraine, where things are currently headed. Now, if you do not believe in tarot, or if you do, if you doubt the information that comes forth, if you want to live in the dark, <clears throat> click off the, this video now. I am not going to deal with haters. I want to put that out there now. I will delete those comments and I will block you from this channel. Because more than anything right now, this world needs love, not hate. If you don't agree with what I'm saying, that's fine. But don't leave hateful comments. Leave a comment of praying for Ukraine or praying for peace or whatever, but don't leave negative comments. There's enough negativity going on in this world right now. Don't add to it, okay? We have to send out positive vibes. We have to send out light and love to the Ukrainians, to the world at this time. And on a little side note here, I do want to let everybody know that I am having a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away one private 15 minute reading, which would be live via Zoom. And <clears throat> in order to enter, just leave a comment. When you leave a comment in any of the videos, um, hashtag Mystic Gen giveaway, and you will be entered. Okay? And I will be announcing the winner on St. Patrick's Day. So, now. Without further ado, let's get into the actual video. So, we know that Putin and his minions have taken the airport right outside of Kyiv. And I do also apologize ahead of time if I mispronounce anything. That's one of the things I'm not good at is pronunciations of names and cities, and, okay? But... I, and we also know that Zelensky has set up defenses and troops in Kyiv. They're in defensive mode. I feel for those people. And I get true integrity and true... Um, <clears throat> honesty type of vibes when I concentrate on Zelensky. Ukraine is a, um, a very peaceful southern um, country. They don't deserve this. But let's see what's going on here. So dear Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, please give us some insights on the fate or the current direction where things are going with Ukraine. Is Ukraine going to maintain their independence, please? I love that right off the bat. We have the Six of Wands. That is the victory. And this is, he is taking, Zelensky is taking uh, responsibility. He is taking leadership of what's going on in his country. He is going, he's being honored. He's hit. And then we have the Eight of Cups. <clears throat> so, the first things that I get here is that they're saying the current situation, this is the current situation, that he's not going to abandon his people. They are taking a stand. 
and they're telling me, Spirit's telling me that I don't feel Russia is going to take Keith. I really don't. Let me see what else is going on here. Underneath, there are strategic military plans with the Knight of Swords. Okay, this is what is hidden, or this is what's going on behind the scenes here. This is the base of the situation. And there, with military action, they, it seems like to the world, everything is going against Ukraine. But behind the scenes, there is, they have something up their sleeve. They are, they're not going to give up easily, is what I'm saying. They're not, Ukraine is not going to give up without a fight. We have the King of Pentacles here. So, <clears throat> this is somebody with money. I almost feel Putin with all his money they, and sitting pretty that, you know, this is somebody who's, me. oh, no, not Putin. I'm sorry. This is a manager. This is a businessman. This is somebody who's taking action, who's taking care of business. This could also be representation of the e of Europe, of the of NATO. We do know that they are planning on more financial sanctions, freezing Russia's assets, freezing. Putin's assets. That's in the process. But this is also t the, t showing me that this whole operation to begin with is driven by power and by money. Okay. We do have the Ten of Swords. Um... Zelensky is thinking about the loss of life. There's already been casualties. He wants to minimize the loss of life here. And, and, and to be honest, he is afraid that his country is going to fall. He may not show it, he may not voice it, but it's going on in his head. He's thinking about the loss of life. He's thinking about his country falling. King of Cups. So we do have a couple kings here. One is very monetary driven. One is very power driven. The other one is very much emotional, very much trying to be almost like I'm a humanitarian. I'm hearing humanitarian. <clears throat> I feel that there is going to be assistance coming to the Ukrainians. Right now, it might be love and support, good vibes, things of that nature. <clears throat> but it looks, looking to me, as, as it appears to the world that Ukraine, that Kiev could fall into the hands of the Russians. There is going to be somebody who is going to step up to the plate who is going to give some sort of aid to Ukraine. And I feel this Nine of Swords is representation of Putin, you know, really going in full force. And I may I add that Putin, in his astrological chart, he is a Libra, and he has a hell of a lot of Aries in there, which... Makes him a hothead. 
literally a hothead. Okay. Putin, his, his view on the situation is he's trying to bide some time. Putin, I'm sorry, Zelensky. Zelensky's biding time. Patient. Assessing. He's evaluating the situation right now. Where things are going. And this is somebody who's planning, who's being very strategic. So he is definitely looking at this is his situation and evaluating things. Uh, Page of Wands. I feel there's going to be some good news that is, that is going to be coming as a result. Okay. A new path, a new plan. Zelensky is coming up with a new plan, a new strategy here. He's taking the bull by the horns. He's not taking this laying down at all. And he is far from being a coward. Eight of Pentacles, definitely working on the plan and paying it and working out the details. So right now, it feels like Ukraine is working on some sort of strategy, working out the details. They've got their defensive set up. <clears throat> Meanwhile, there are sanctions being put into place um, against Russia, against Putin. Financial sanctions. There is a little bit of concern about the supply chain. With the airport under Russian control, there's a, they are concerned about supplies. Maybe even concerned about barren lands. Food. Okay. Barren necessities. Eight of Wands. Air attacks. So the air attacks are not done. Just so that you know. Missiles. Ah, missiles flying. I, Ukraine <clears throat> is going to respond with missile attacks. Back at Russia. Okay. So this is kind of the basics that as it stands, it does not look like Kiev is going to fall. Not today. Maybe not tomorrow either. Okay. They are holding their, uh, they're going to hold their own for right now. Ukraine is being very strategic. The military leaders, they're assessing the situation. They're coming up with a whole new strategy. They're working out the details right now. And it might involve missiles. That aid that is coming to Ukraine <clears throat> could be weapons. Okay, tell me more about this King of Cups. What is this aid that is coming to Ukraine? Money. There is definitely monetar monetary backing for Ukraine. Ten of Cups, yes, or Ten of Pentacles. Money is coming into the Ukrainian hands, into the Ukrainian government. There is a lot of support. They're going to get a lot of support. The money that is needed. And that's one of the things that Ukrainians are worried about. They're worried about the economy, the effect on their economy. But there is financial aid coming to them. Okay, tell me more about these strategies. Tell me more about this Eight of Wands, please. What is this Eight of Wands? It's something happening very, very quickly. What is, hap what is this Eight of Wands, please? Okay, foreign lands, three of wands. Okay, Ukraine is standing their own. They're watching their ships. 
There's definitely some kind of military action going on here. That could actually be a representation of tanks. They're setting things up. I, it feels like... like a, They're showing me... You know... Uh, the UN... Um, like, you know, NATO, they are, there's weapons coming into Ukraine. A lot of, they have a lot of options opening up. Uh, they, I mean, this started out with a lot of confusion. I feel like that's why Russia has made it as far inland as they did. With the battle, there's there's still going to be there's going to be some fighting in Kiev. Absolutely. Fighting is going to continue, but Ukraine's going to be better prepared. Two of Swords block. Oh, thank God! Thank praise the Lord. Blockage. They are going to stop Putin from taking Kiev. At least at this point in time. Now, with that said, as a reminder, the future's not written in stone. Putin can try to go back to the drawing board and try to re-strategize and come up with another plan. But whatever this plan is, that the Ukrainians are coming up with, combined with the aid from other nations, it's not without any kind of loss of life. There is going to be loss of life. Unfortunately, that comes with war. Okay? But today, tomorrow, you know, they're going to hold out. They're going to keep Putin at bay. They are going to, I think, they are going to maintain Ukrainian, they are going to maintain control of Kiev, of their capital. Meanwhile, Putin's supplies are going to be cut off because his money's getting cut off. And he's going to feel like he's going to be in a bind. Okay? But he's going to make an alliance with somebody with the Two of Cups. Because he's going to figure out he cannot accomplish this by himself now. Because his assets are getting frozen. So there is going to be somebody charge coming in to Russia's aid as well. An emperor. That could be China. Yeah, there's some shady shit going on behind the scenes between Russia and China. But Russia has, or China has an ulterior motive here. A secret agenda that Russia doesn't know about. China could double cross Russia. Remember that. China could double cross Russia. I want to get some oracles. I just feel the need for some oracles on this to finish this reading up. Well, Russia needs to watch who they make out who they think is are their allies. Um, we have waterfall. Russia is coasting through this right now. I feel that there is an overconfidence there. That's going to be one of Putin's mistakes, being overconfident and underestimating Ukraine, underestimating Zelensky. Lady Winter is a freeze. That is the freezing of his assets. He's been going with the flow. Now everything's going to get frozen. He's going to get stopped. Uh, you know, I'm glad this reading's going this way. Yesterday's reading, 
you know, like I said, the future's um, mutable. Yesterday, there was a lot of chaos. Nobody knew what they were doing, and Russia was just marching on through. Okay? But, there's been talks and strategies going on here. Mastery. That is like magician type energy. He's Putin will try to find a way around this. See, sevens are assess. Okay, he's going to be trying to. Master manipulator, I hear, and I'm seeing he's going to try to come up with another master plan now that once he gets stopped. Uh, and this is showing me Putin's not going to give up yet, but there's going to be a pause because he's going to get stopped, but he's going to go back to the drawing table and come up with something else. He is that power hungry. But right now, the good news is... <clears throat> that the Ukraine is going to be um, having a stronghold. They are going to hold out. There, there's at least going to be a temporary stop to the Russian advance. Okay, so that's what I have for you folks. I do thank you for watching. If you're enjoying these videos of what's coming up, what the current energies are, Please hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you hit that smash that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so that you don't miss an upload. You don't miss any of my giveaways. And you don't li miss my lives. Okay? I am going to go again, live again on, I think, Sunday. I'm thinking I'm going to go live and do some free readings. Okay? Anyhow, I love you all. Pray for the Ukraine. Light a candle for the Ukraine. And keep that positive energy going and flowing towards the Ukraine and the world. Until next time, bye.